Evening all from Marcus here, back with another video, back with a VR video. And in this video is a little bit of a tutorial on how to create custom clothes in games like Banter. So Banter is like a social VR app. I'm actually playing this on PC in technically a 2D mode at the moment, but it just makes it easier to record. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create custom t-shirts and shirts and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to do a t-shirt, but you can kind of see this uh, hoodie that I have on, this character at the moment. Uh, is custom so it's got my logo on it and uh, it's got my logo on the back as well which you can't really see if I because I can't really turn around <laughs> but uh we're going to show you how to do this and how to gonna get it into the game and that sort of thing and banter is a kind of social app so this avatar you can kind of create you can customize the features you can then customize the clothes it's got tons of default stuff but if you want a little bit of a personal touch the easiest thing to do is just you know customize yourself a t-shirt so that's what we're going to do today. So let's uh, crack on and I'll show you how this is done. All right, first thing you want to do is go to readyplayer.me and sign in with your account. So click in login and log in with your account. And hopefully you've already got one set up that you've used for already being part of banter or something like that. But if you haven't, Go ahead and do that, create yourself a new account. And you can see I've got myself a little avatar here. And then what we want to do, once we're logged in, we want to change this address at the top here to something different. We want to change it to uh, studio, studio.readyplayer.me. Studio.readyplayer.me. Sometimes you'll have a little link down the bottom left if you've been in it before, but I think it's not there if you've not been in it before. So click on that, hit return. And then you'll have to create a new kind of an account uh, for creating an app. Uh, don't worry too much. Just create yourself a little Unity app. Name it whatever you want to name it. Give it your own name, that sort of thing. It kind of makes the kind of URL that people can go to to get your clothing that you make. So don't worry too much about those settings. Just put in wherever works. And once you're in, you should be down logged in. And then on the left-hand side, you've got a thing called Asset Designer. If we click on this, we get this kind of a uh, screen that pops up and you can kind of customize some of the default clothing. So you can click on these different bits of clothing on the side and customize them. So you can grab your little t-shirt here. You can either upload your own sort of texture file and actually kind of have a complete custom one, or you can click on the little AI button here and just type in whatever you want. So you can choose a kind of theme here. So let's go medieval and go uh, horses. And then you click generate. And then after a little while, it'll generate you a custom t-shirt with, with AI. And there we go. After a minute or two, it'll generate you your own custom t-shirt. So the whole thing is kind of custom and unique to you. Now, this horse is a little goofy looking. <laughs> a little bit uh, scary looking with those eyes. Um, but you've got yourself a t-shirt. So you can just do as simple as that. Click save name it and save it onto your uh, studio account and you will show you how to kind of equip those later but in this one we want to assume that you want to make some sort of actual custom logo or some sort of picture or something you want to put on the front of a t-shirt so what we need to do is click on custom texture at the top left here and then download this psd template so this psd template is a photoshop file so i'm going to use photoshop to kind of uh, do this so we click on that we then save this i've made a little folder and we'll put this as t-shirt template, click save, saves that to our folder for us. And then we just need to open up Photoshop and uh, go grab that file. All right, so I've got Photoshop open in the background here. I've got uh, my t-shirt template folder that I've downloaded the file. So if I just right click that, extract all to the same place we got it from. There we go, appears there. And then I want to put this Dungeons of Eternity logo onto that, that t-shirt. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we do this. I'm going to do it nice and simple. There's a lot more to it that you can go through if you really wanted to, because you could open this uh, photo file, this, this image file, into anything. So this is just a solid image. You can sort of see down the bottom right. This is just a solid sort of uh, one picture. But we don't want that. What we want is if we go back to that folder, the PSD file here, open that in Photoshop, and it gives us lots of different layers that we can turn on and off and toggle things. And one of the things we're going to want to do is if on the down the bottom right here, you've got some options for uh, this little eye symbol for turning certain layers off. So where it says logos, you can sort of see if we turn that on and off, we can see that this is the front of the t-shirt, this is the back, and these are the two sleeves, and then this is the neck. 
this has been sort of necklined. Um, so you can sort of see this one on this this arm here has to be mirrored if you do put any text on or any logos that kind of make a difference uh, to make sure it displays correctly. But uh, let's copy that. So if we get rid of that, so just do the eye on that. We'll close up that folder so we don't need that. And the most important bit here for us is this layer here. This is all the colors for these. So you can sort of see if I turn this off and on and off, this kind of gives you a bit more of a definition of kind of what all these bits kind of do. Now you can kind of just do all sorts with it, but what we're gonna do in this video is we're just gonna come over to the left here, click on, or not the gradient tool, we want the, the box tool, the rectangle tool, click on that. We're just gonna draw a rectangle across the entire piece of picture there. And you can see, just because we clicked on that layer down the bottom right there, we've created a rectangle above it. Now we can change this color to anything we like. And you can sort of see we get the different color t-shirt. So we can choose this little sort of uh, box, curl box up here. We can be very specific on what sort of color t-shirt we want. Maybe maybe a slight sort of uh, darkish gray. There we go, click OK. And there we go, we can see our kind of t-shirt there. That's the color of the t-shirt we want. Uh, so you can adjust that to anyone. So you just click on that rectangle there, and on the right there, click the fill option and change it to whatever you like it to be. That's kind of your entire t-shirt color change. Now, if you want to color, color different colors for different bits, you have to be a bit sort of smarter about that. And you're probably gonna have to use this kind of base color layer here and select the different sections and cut them out. Now we can go into that in a different video if you like, or I might do a little short on it. Let me know if you kind of want a bit more detail on that, but we're keeping it simple on this one. Right, let's go grab that picture of the uh, Dungeons of Tony's logo. So we grab that, we're gonna drag it up here next to our file. So it opens up in a separate one. It's gonna open up over here. And there you go, that's our Dungeons logo. Um, we're gonna unlock it down the bottom right here. Just click the little sort of lock. That means that that's not a background layer anymore. And then we can click this down the bottom here. Automatically it says remove background. We're gonna click that, cut the background out there for us. And all we need to do is grab onto this with a click drag it over to our t-shirt over here, and then drop it on. Bosh, there it is. So we just resize that with the little handles on the top there. Make sure you grab the corner ones. So it resizes nice and evenly. We wanna put it nice and center, a little bit higher up so it kind of appears on the chest rather than the stomach. And then when we're happy with where it is, hit return, and there it is. Oh, I can actually see on here, we've got a couple of little white bits. The easiest way for me to fix that is if I use Hulk Alt and use a scroll wheel, I can scroll in. Up the top left here, I can grab this magic wand tool here, click on that little white bit there, click delete, and it's got rid of that for me. And control D just to undo that. So let's scroll back out again, get rid of that. So there's our logo on the main chest there. We could add things onto the back if you wanted, onto the arms, onto these bits here. Obviously, if you put this logo onto this arm, you'd have to flip it over. To show you how to do that, if we control J on this little picture here, that makes a little copy. I'll show you how you kind of like, you can easily kind of flip things over. So if you, so you were putting that there, for example, click on edit, down to transform and flip horizontal. Boop. That then makes it the other way around. So when it's actually on the arm, it'll be the right way around. Yeah, so we've got that on there. Let's keep that on there for now. We might as well, so you can have a little look at what it looks like. Right, now we need to save this image. If we go to file, export, export as, then it opens up this export window. We wanna make sure it's got PNG. We wanna turn off the transparency. If you have that enabled, it won't allow you to upload it. And then down the bottom right, we just wanna click export and choose a place where we wanna save it. So I'm gonna save that in the same folder where the t-shirt template is. T-shirt, and then Dungeons of Eternity, DOE, and then save. Now let's go back to Ready Player Studio and upload this design. So here we go, we're back in Ready Player Studio. We've still got this t-shirt here, but what we're gonna do instead now, we're gonna make sure we choose custom texture over here. Click upload a file. We're gonna go to where that t-shirt is, the Ready Player Me folder in there. You can see our little t-shirt dough. I'm gonna click open. And it's gonna take a second to think about it. And then bosh, we have a Dungeons of Eternity t-shirt and it all looks pretty cool. So as simple as that, you can change the entire color of a t-shirt and add a logo, as simple as that. We're now gonna just click save, go to asset manager, and you can see all the different t-shirts you've created here. This is the latest one at the top here. We click designer. We're gonna change that to dungeons 
of, oh, that's well, eternity. T shirt. That's neutral. It's a top. Uh, we could upload a file, but we're not going to do that now. That's our little t shirt there. And then it automatically generates a little preview icon of it down there. Applications, we want to share it to Remarkus and make it visible. Uh, obviously, you click whatever your studio is called and click save. All right, so now we've created the t shirt. How do you put it on? How do you use it in things like banter and that sort of thing? So what we need to do is if we go back to my applications on the left here, you can remember the application we kind of created at the start, it's got a link. So remarkus.readyplayer.me. And that brings you to this page here. You might have to make sure you're logged in. So make sure you're logged in and it should kind of bring up all your avatars. I've created avatars previously, so I've got some here. What I'm going to do is select this one down here and change it. But if you haven't got one here, you are going to create a new avatar here just to kind of be able to equip your t-shirt. But I'm going to choose this one, choose select. Got my little avatar here. It's got my Remarkus t-shirt on that I've made previously. Scroll down to the bottom of the list of the shirts up here. So top right, click on shirts. Bottom right, we've got our Dungeons of Eternity shirt. Then we just click next. You can make any other changes if you like to. Uh, it gives you a link you can kind of share. We're not going to do that. But now if we jump back into our game like Banter, we can now find this avatar. All right, so here we are back in Banter. We're going to open up our menu. We're going to go to the smiley face. We're going to see our kind of uh, avatar selections here. You can click Change Avatar. If you haven't linked your Ready Player Me account, you're going to have to there. So once you're in your Ready Player Me account, click on All Avatars here, and this will show all avatars you've created across any of the apps. So all the kind of apps that you create things in, um, if it's if, if you've used one of my t-shirts or you've created your own or whatever, you've been to any of those kind of uh, studio accounts, they'll appear there. So here's the Dungeons of Turn to One. We can click on that. Uh, if we want to, we can make some additional changes here. But we're going to click Next. And then, hopefully, in-game, in a few seconds' time, we should reload and have our new t-shirt on. So let's have a look, see if it reloads. Sometimes it takes a second. Bosh, there it is. That's our Dungeons of Eternity t-shirt. Now it obviously looks back to front in the mirror uh, because obviously it's a mirror, so things that are in a mirror are back to front. Uh, but there's our t-shirt. So that's hopefully a kind of a relatively straightforward guide on how to create a custom t-shirt. Basically putting a logo onto a t-shirt, creating it however you want, tweaking and changing the colors, that sort of thing. You could go into all sorts of detail. You could change the different color of the arms, the sleeves, the the back, the front, doing all sorts of stuff, but that's kind of the basic 101. So let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Let me know if you've got any questions. If you're part of the Banter Discord, I'll be in and around there. Uh, you can obviously catch me in Banter as well if you've got any questions about this. And you know, if you if you ask me nicely, I might even create you a T-shirt if you if it's just too, just too complicated for you to do. I don't mind as long as it's nice and straightforward. Don't spend too much time on it. I don't mind doing it. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the video. And I'll try and do better next time if you didn't like it. And uh, here's a virtual high five. Uh, kinda with the mirror. Let's go. See you in the next one.